supervisor is the battlefield surveillance and target acquisition system under development by Westland Helicopters and Marconi Avionics for the British Army. An early development test vehicle, WISP, flew in 1976, demonstrating the simplicity of the concept, including the elementary method of starting. These early trials quickly established the coaxial concept as practicable and extremely controllable and stable, particularly in your. The air vehicle component of the system is a planned symmetric, remotely piloted helicopter giving the tactical flexibility of minimum site preparation and ground equipment, vertical takeoff and landing capabilities independent of wind direction, and short turnaround times. During the many hours of flying in the development programs, the control of the air vehicles has been carried out by non-pilots, demonstrating that expensive training of controllers is not required. WISP carried a simple commercial camera, whose sightline stability was derived from the air vehicle stabilization. The symmetric planform layout gives the vehicle no preferred direction of flight, permitting it to point its narrow beam data link antenna continuously at the ground station. Development of Wide Eye, the air vehicle of the supervisor system, began early in the program which was launched in 1976. Design of the compact mechanical module, one of three making up the air vehicle, has been substantiated by comprehensive testing, including altitude engine performance, to determine fuel consumption and performance changes up to an altitude of 5,000 feet. The dry gearbox has been tested up to its rated power for about 300 hours without major problems. The meshing gears are of steel and toughnel, a resin impregnated linen composite material. The individually interchangeable main rotor blades are of glass fibre composite material, giving a repeatable controlled aerodynamic section. This slow motion sequence of undercarriage drop tests is typical of the comprehensive testing carried out during the development period. The integration of these elements has reached the stage of complete air vehicles, which have been subjected to considerable ground and rig running. Throughout the ground running, a full range of parameters has been monitored and recorded on video. Engine and rotor speeds, cylinder head temperatures, lift and yaw loads, and loads in the highly stressed dynamic components. Following exhaustive ground running in the enclosed cell, the vehicle is finally cleared in the open air, where there are no aerodynamic recirculation problems. This final checkout covers the accurate trimming in yaw on a freely rotating tie-down rig. Concurrent with the vehicle development, Marconi Avionics has been developing the payload platform and sensor package. This module fits into the lower part of the air vehicle and currently consists of a vertical looking daylight camera which is mounted on a platform having the dual function of sensor stabilization and providing vehicle flight control system references in pitch, roll and yaw. The platform contains all the sensor lens control electronics and gives the sensor freedom of movement independent of vehicle attitude as well as enabling the operator to orientate the camera to give any chosen image heading, normally north up or track up. The ground control station activities are led by Marconi Avionics. The operational concept will comprise the ground station vehicle and the tracker aerial separately mounted to allow it to be remoted by up to 500 meters and linked by a fiber optic cable. During the current phase, the tracker will be mounted on the ground station. It has a range of movement in elevation of minus five to plus 45 degrees and in azimuth 
of plus or minus 190 degrees. It has an operational crew of three, consisting of the mission controller, the imagery interpreter, and the air vehicle controller, each having common controls, allowing interoperability. The image interpreter will have control over the camera attitude and zoom capability, particularly in the target area. For a planned mission, the air vehicle controller will take over the air vehicle from the remote launch and recovery unit, which may be deployed a number of kilometers away, setting the vehicle altitude, speed and heading to the target area. The autonomous nature of the remote launch and recovery unit, with its sensor displays, will allow valuable short-range reconnaissance to be achieved prior to handover. The Westland simulator has been developed based on an Argus computer, not only to be used as a design tool for the air vehicle stabilization and flight control system, but as an aid to ergonomic assessments of the controller's station, displays, and mission planning requirements, together with basic controller training. A TV screen simulates the outside world and shows a remote launch site and air vehicle. The simulator incorporates the fundamental displays of the ground station together with the alphanumeric vehicle performance parameters. Early free flying but the first development vehicle, without its cowlings fitted, has confirmed the overall vehicle and control system design philosophy. Stability and control responses have been demonstrated to be excellent. The second demonstrator air vehicle, with its daylight sensor, has successfully transmitted real-time images and further explored the general performance envelope. After takeoff, the undercarriage will retract into the body, so reducing its visual and radar signature, as well as the aerodynamic drag. Supervisor is a real-time surveillance and target acquisition system, capable of carrying a wide range of sensors to suit the requirements of many other military or paramilitary users. Simpler system derivatives will ideally be suited to many short-range applications.